All right, this is episode four of Breaking Down the Lakers Warriors April 9th game. Well, as I have lamented many times, you can barely get through a play before there's something that you should talk about. This is a moving screen by LeBron James. I don't think I've seen him set a legal screen. He is constantly setting illegal screens. Do I need to explain why it's illegal? Uh, if you don't want to hear the explanation, skip ahead. Here's why it's illegal. Well, the most obvious reason is that he never stops moving. <laughs> Therefore, it has to be a moving screen. <laughs> the screener has to establish a position, get set, and be square. You don't get to keep moving in order to match the movements of the offensive player. That's what makes it a moving screen if you keep moving to get in his way. Look at LeBron with the little chicken wing at the end there. Just clipping Steph with his elbow sticking out. He's also going to hit him in the knee with his extended left leg. So we can't ever use LeBron James as an example, but try to imagine someone who establishes a legal position. This is from the NBA video rulebook, providing an example of a legal screen position. Once you've established that position, imagine a pillar where your shoulders and your feet are. Okay, you do not get to extend your body outside of that pillar. Sticking out a knee, sticking out a foot, sticking out an elbow, a shoulder, even leaning your torso out to the left from that pillar. It's all illegal. You can even see in this frame that LeBron James has his left leg extended and he's pulling his left elbow in. But on top of that, he was moving his entire body to the left. The NBA video rulebook describes when a screener moves out of their original position to set a new possession, a rescreen, and that's illegal. But in LeBron's case, he never even established a position. It was just a perpetual moving screen. And I understand why you're confused, because this is all he does, and he's never called for it. Therefore, you think it's legal. All right, moving on. What's next? Let's freeze it here. Because once again, as I've been pointing out, LeBron is just a glorified swing man. What's he doing? He's just catching the ball at the perimeter and swinging it to a guy who can actually make the shot. Why is this so infuriating? Because I know that the announcers are saying, oh, look at LeBron's IQ. Look at how he orchestrates the offense. Look at just the things that happen when he's on the court. It's all bullshit. And freeze again right here. Even if that ball hadn't gone in, that's what it would have looked like. That's why rebounding just doesn't amount to what rebounding previously amounted to. There is no one from the other team going to be there fighting for the offensive rebound. So just keep racking up your defensive rebounds and I'll give you a golf clap. Here we go. Already LeBron pointing his fingers, gesturing, acting like a dick, pretending like he's drawing up something incredible. What'd you draw up there, LeBron? Driving until you got stuck and having to desperately kick it out? I mean, do you guys practice? We always have to see LeBron James waving his hands around as if he's inventing basketball on the spot and so the announcers can say some stupid crap backing that up. How about if you guys practice and run the plays that you practice in practice instead of LeBron James pretending like he is orchestrating something here. And now I stop the ball because look at LeBron James. First of all, look how massive he is. Next, look at the perfect position he's in to cut off that baseline or swat the ball against the glass. How was the view, LeBron? Here, LeBron has to pick up his dribble at the first sign of defense because he has no actual skills. He sets a fake screen and is complaining. Of course. I mean, there was someone near you. He's got his hands up. He's barking at the ref the whole way down. Every freaking play. How on earth did you get that rebound, LeBron? Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
I think a couple of molecules of different players connected there. Better call a foul. So here, LeBron connects on a pick and roll. I don't know who's capable of that, but you know the announcers are going off. I just want to say, Clay Thompson's defense is a suspect at best. I hate, hate Clay Thompson's defense. Oh, here's the play that I already did a video on, the closeout. I don't think I included this angle. Holy crap. <laughs> That's even more embarrassing. And look at LeBron's body language from that angle. Oh. Oh. You narcissistic psychopath. Who are you possibly blaming other than yourself on this? I gotta have a guest fanboy on to provide an excuse here. I mean, I can't even wrap my head around the way that they think, some of the excuses they come up with. I try to think about what they're going to say and cover it. Some of the crap they come up with, I can't even wrap my head around. I guess Darvin Ham was supposed to come off the bench and run over there because LeBron sure doesn't feel like closing out. Maybe Hachimura, who's even deeper <laughs> in the paint than LeBron. <laughs> And here we go. Oh, there are those arm gestures. Oh, LeBron is so smart. Look at how he orchestrates the offense. That was a travel. Let's look at it from another angle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm so sick of the gather step being used as an excuse to take three full steps after you've gathered. It doesn't mean the step that you take after you gather. Back to this obnoxious shit. Let me ask a question. Do people think Steph Curry is dumb? Is Steph Curry dumb? Because Steph doesn't do this. I mean, is this a sign of intelligence? Because somehow Steph Curry's able to run pick and rolls and get mismatches and set up players for dunks and alley-oops without doing all this crap. Uh, is that called practice? Is that called remembering what you practiced? Is it called just knowing plays? Is it called Steph just not feeling the need to do all this hand-waving crap so that the announcers have an excuse to talk about